Welcome back to the Dutch Gran Turismo guy. We start this video with my latest qualification lap on Dragon Trail Seaside reversed for group 4 cars. I've just set a fastest lap at 1 minute 47 height but I made a couple of small mistakes in that lap. It is crucial to hit the inner line for the first corner, otherwise you will lose too much speed for the run in the tunnel towards the chicane of death. I still go a bit too wide because I braked a bit too late. For the chicane break at the start of the right side curves, just last the 100 meter sign and release at the 50 meter sign. I start braking just before the 50 meter sign which will prevent your car from turning, so after a couple of meters start releasing the brake a bit so you can hit the inner curb for the sharp turn. The first two corners of the S's are flat out, then I lift and shift back one gear for the last corner. I break at the 100 meter sign and miss shift it to the second gear while this is a third gear corner. At this point I break where the right side curb red part begins, back to third gear and keep in tight in the first corner to have more exit speed for the second corner, then just flat out to the finish. I still have room for improvement as you noticed, but didn't found the time to make a couple of laps just yet. The qualification round put me on pole position, which is very welcome on this track. If you don't mess up the start you have nobody in front of on the side of your car when going for the infamous first chicane, which really helps. By the time I'm at the chicane I'm already a full second ahead, so no need for defensive lines. I will only show you the first full lap, as the rest of the four laps where was nothing noteworthy to show. In the final sector of the last lap I'm 12 seconds in the lead going for a nice clean victory without any threats.
Unfortunately I didn't get a clean race star as I hit the barrier once in the chicane, but next race will be the first all three stars. For the last race of this video I have the same starting position as the previous one, and I didn't improve my qualification time in the short time between the races. The Swiss driver is keeping up a lot better, which results in having to keep a bit more defensive line in case he tries to dive bomb at a gap that isn't there. Defensive lines are less fast which results in him gaining on me instead of creating a bigger gap. With only 7 tenths between us I try to break the slipstream as much as possible by driving a different line. Fortunately he doesn't follow and not making the most out of the slipstream. The gap remained somewhere between half a second to about two and a half second in the last lap, giving me the opportunity to go for the first triple star race. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment.